Start by drawing on your wounds and plotting out where you want them using an eyeliner or lip liner, any kind of pencil makeup. Go around the lines of your wounds with liquid latex and allow that to dry slightly between layers. Keep layering that up for as thick as you want them. I usually go for about four or five layers. Ignore this bit on my face because I later decide that I don't want that on there. Um, but I'm also using scar wax to create a rough and gloopy texture on my neck so that it kind of looks like a scab. And I'm just using the end of a paintbrush to add to that texture. Now take a blunt tool and carefully lift the inside edges of the latex. Once the edges are lifted slightly, you can do a little bit more with your hands. It's a lot safer than trying to use the tool for the whole thing. Powder any shine away using a flesh toned or translucent powder. As you can see now I've removed the majority of the wax from my cheek and with what's left I'm just making that really rough and gloopy looking as well. Using a foundation brush or sponge apply a very watery grey face paint all over the areas that you want to zombify and try and make it look patchy and uneven. Fill in your wound shapes with red face paint. You can see here that a little bit of my latex skin came loose just by my nose so I'm sticking that back down using a little bit more liquid latex. Continue to apply red face paint to your wounds and also anywhere else that you want to look irritated. For any irritated areas or bruising, tap out the wet face paint with your finger just to disperse the colour a little bit, it will make it look more convincing. Also don't be afraid to just use water on top of your face paints, if you feel like the colour is a little bit too strong, just go in with some water and you can disperse that a little bit more. Deepen the wounds using a dark red or a brown face paint and maybe even just a very light touch of black as well just to get a little bit more depth in there. For bruising you can also use a little bit of dark blue face paint on top of your red just to add to that bruised effect. Just make sure you pat it out well with your finger just to make sure it's nice and blended. Continue to add more irritation wherever you see fit. Keep 
keep layering colours to get a really gnarly infected look. For example on this occasion I'm using a little bit of green and again patting out to disperse the colour. Paint your lips brown so that when you apply your gel blood later on it will look darker around the mouth. Using a rough textured sponge apply more grey face paint and tap to diffuse the colour if necessary. You can also layer more colours on top of this with the sponge just to make it look even more sort of mouldy and infected and basically gross. Using white face paint, gently dab the sponge over the top of the wounds just to highlight that raised skin. And if you go too crazy with this, don't worry, just add a little bit more red face paint on top. When you're happy with the amount of irritation and you're happy with the texture of your wounds and everything, go in with a really fine brush and some red and blue face paint and create some vein lines. I recommend putting these coming out of the wounds and also from the edges of the face and also any openings like your nose or your eyes or even from your mouth. I like to overlap the red and blue veining, I think it just looks more effective and more veiny. To make the veins look like they're coming from underneath the skin, add a little bit more diluted grey face paint on the top with that rough textured sponge and this will just make it look a little bit more like it's underneath the skin. Again you can tap out the colour if you think it's gone a little bit too opaque, just tap it with your finger while it's still wet and the rest of it should show through. Here's a quick time lapse of how I did Rich's zombie makeup. It's the same basic steps apart from I covered one of his eyes um, just with a little bit of mesh just to make it look like the eye had been ripped out. Again I'm going for grey patchy skin and sort of raw looking red wounds. Adding some depth to those wounds and a little bit of irritation throughout the face. Mm -hmm. 
oops, bit too much blue, but we can tap it out, it'll be fine. Oh, Rich is really getting into the zombie mood now. Again, some creepy veins. And I'm overlapping the red with the blue. And then finally just patting on a little bit more of that grey face paint to make the veins look like they're underneath the skin.